You guys see that? Yeah. <laughs> It's Michael from Fire and Brilliance. That is our Asher cut, our cognac Asher from our heirloom collection. I'm so excited to go over this with you. It's actually an Asher cut with a hue, a brownish, yellowish, warm, amberish hue that we'll be comparing it to a regular Asher step cut, Forever One Moissanite by Charles and Kovar. And I'm super happy and excited to go over it with you. And I'm gonna get right into it. Alright guys, so I'm going to be taking out the first stone is the Forever One Charles and Colvar Asher Cut. Again, an Asher Cut, all that basically means is that there are facets where it's parallel uh, to the girdle. Okay, so if the girdle is facing uh, vertically, then the facets will also be vertical. As opposed to when, when the girdle is facing horizontally, the facets will also be horizontal. So uh, step cuts, if you take a look into the stone, all that basically means is that it looks like a stairway. So you're taking steps. I mean, it looks, really looks like a stairway and it looks very symmetrical as opposed to a typical brilliant cut where it's very busy. Uh, now for this specific stone, it's an eight millimeter Charles and Kovar Forever One, char um, about a two and a quarter carat diamond equivalent weight stone. The stone that I will be comparing it to for visual preferences and overall aesthetics is the Fire and Brilliance Heirloom Moissanite Cognac Asher. This is also an eight millimeter. It's also about a two and a quarter carat diamond equivalent weight. It's also a step cut where the facets are parallel to the girdle. So it also looks like a bunch of steps and a stairway if you were to look into it, but obviously the aesthetic appeal is uh, completely different. So in other words, what we're looking at here is this is a colorless stone. If you're looking for something that is colorless for your piece of jewelry, uh, then you may want to go for this specific stone. However, if you're looking for something with a little more color to it, this specific stone is the cognac heirloom moissanite by fire and brilliance and with that said it has an amberish hue it looks very kind of goldish yellowish brownish all in one and in very specific lighting sometimes it's a little lighter sometimes it's a little darker and sometimes it's just right so it's really fun uh, to wear on rose gold and yellow gold jewelry specifically but obviously you can pair it with anything else so again our asher cuts eight millimeters two and a quarter carat diamond equivalent weight the only difference is the visual appeal of the color our cognac asher this is not a plated stone in other words the color is not plated on the exterior so once it is set by a jeweler the color will not go away. It is definitely a color that's inside the stone, so that color will be permanent. And it is permanent. All right guys, so the ring that I want to showcase with this Asher Cognac from our Heirloom collection is a 14K yellow gold ice solitaire four prong ring. So if you notice, the reason why I chose yellow gold is because of the beauty of the center stone. Again, this specific center stone is a step cut with an amberish hue to it, very close to a cognac color. Uh, as you can tell, if you were to pair it with a yellow gold or even rose gold, but for this specific setting, it's with yellow gold. It's beautiful. Let me go ahead and spin it around for you in a bit just so that you kind of see it. The beauty of this specific ring is that it is from our Ice Solitaire collection, and all that basically means is this. Uh, it's also a solitaire ring, it's just that the band or the shank is not plain. What we did was we add little natural diamonds to it so that we could give it an extra spark, but not too much where it's taking away from the center stone. So the whole point of a solitaire setting is to make sure that the center stone is being showcased. So if you are in love with your center stone, then uh, try to avoid uh, all of the uh, busyness, right? So the halos and, and uh, all of the other designs, right? But, uh, you know, a lot of people love the halos too. But if you are looking to just showcase the center stone but want to add an extra spark, then the ice solitaire may be uh, what you're looking for. And all that basically means is that we're adding little diamonds to it to give it some more character on the sides, but the center and main attraction is still there. So this is a standard shank. It's round with 
diamonds on the sides. These are natural diamonds. It's a four prong, also a sculptural prong. Again, all a sculptural prong basically means is that it hugs the center stone on the inside. Whereas a regular four prong is just a V and sometimes there's a lot of space on the inside uh, because there's not that additional metal that goes in to hug the center stone. Uh, and it is a four prong, meaning that there's only four of these little metal bars that you see here. Hey guys, I hope you guys like what you saw there. Again, that is the Asher, the Cognac Asher from our Heirloom Collection. I really hope you enjoyed it, okay? Again, if you have not subscribed to the channel already and you've been watching us and if you feel like we've provided you enough value and if we've earned the subscription, definitely subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below, hit the like button, let, let us know what you like, let us know what you don't like and uh, we definitely value your feedback, okay? With that said, thank you so much for a great 2017. Here's the thing. Here at the F&B Geminar, this is an educational video or playlist so that you can learn more about what you may want to buy or may not want to buy so that if you do invest your money into it, then you'll hopefully wear it for a lifetime, okay? We do have another playlist with specific designs that you may want to check out. It's called the F&B's rings, blings, and things. It's on our YouTube channel. Definitely check out that playlist and you might be able to see a lot of things that you may like. Thank you so much. Uh, it's the holidays. From here, from the F&B team, we definitely appreciate you and happy holidays. Goodbye.